All right, so this is not quite how I wanted the video to go, but um, I had had a slight mishap. I had recorded for so long that I guess my computer was unable to save the video, and so I lost seven hours of footage that I was going to use to make the next episode, which is unfortunate, but I can uh, at least do stuff with this episode and take the fact that I for granted that I don't have to edit that but uh, for what actually happened in the last episode or I should say in the episode or failed footage is one I got optifine two whoa that that's kind of weird uh, two I have villagers and sheep villagers sheep melon pumpkin farm <laughs> Those are the main few things that I got done in the last episode. The only other thing that I did end up getting done is basically just I managed to construct a... Basically what I managed to do is I managed to find a map viewer, like a seed viewer. And so I now have the seed for the Minecraft world loaded in that. I can actually show you an image of it right now. As you can see, it's really freaking like the way that the map is. It's so freaking large. But yeah, essentially what I have is uh, villages and the town or home spawn all laid out. Um, yeah. So what I kind of hope to do for this series is to create some really freaking awesome things about the place and in. The next clip, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically go around this area and kind of talk about my plans a little bit more in depth. But uh, one thing that I do want to get done in the next episode for just stuff to look forward to for the next episode, which should be out before... Uh, yeah, I'm not going to give a correct date, but from a, in about a week from when this episode goes out, I hope to have the next one out. But... Who, who knows? Things can go poorly. But yeah. As I'm just kind of popping back to this, I don't know if I already did that. I, uh, I made very poor choices for what keys I have to swap between the image and this. So, either way, yeah. Basically, I have some. I have two farmers, and then a butcher and a uh, what? What is he called again? Ah, oh, shoot, I fell in the ocean. Gosh darn it. Oh, what is, what are their names? You. Uh, Weaponsmith. So I have a Weaponsmith, Butcher, and two Farmers. But, yeah. Basically, I have that. I have Sheep. And I'm hoping to using the, uh, Villagers. Once I get a carrot to start an automatic Villager farm. Or Villager Breeder. So that I can then create an iron farm. So those will be the two things that I'll be getting done in the next episode. Guaranteed. I won't be laying out any uh, foundations for anything uh, structural in this episode yet. Uh, but what I will do is I'll go into a separate world with the same seed. And start laying out some of the kind of foundations. So you guys can kind of get an idea for what I am kind of envisioning. So let's get right to that. Alright, so now we're back into a uh, creative little design world. I have already marked out a few locations for something I want. So, for instance, oh, I'm going to try to make it work. So, maybe it goes like back, I don't know, maybe... Uh, let me just come down over here. I'm just going to... Yeah, maybe it comes back to this point right here. So, like, right there might be the deepest the dock gets. But that kind of comes around. That corner goes out. It'll probably stick out um, this way around the uh, crosshair. So, you know, sticking out basically from this point of the island um, is my goal for that. And then what I'm going to try to do is, is that then in this kind of area, what I want to do with this island, but these areas right over here, 
what I think I'm going to try to do is almost create like a shallows area right here and maybe shadow a little more shallow. And then what I'll do is I'll create like a rock chain almost that pulls out over to here. And then in this kind of rocky patch, here, maybe have it like house over here. And then the boats would be able to sail both this way across, maybe going down that way and come in like that. Or boats can sail into right over here, which is going to be not like a utility dock, like more like fishing boats and stuff like that. So, you know, it'd be more designed like that. The other thing which I'm planning on doing in this area, or actually I'm going to do on this area, is probably creating like maybe turning where I normally am living. So this kind of section into farmland. And then that'll be all farmland. And then I might do something similar on this side for maybe a different crop. And then right there, I'm top this like ridged hill. I'm hoping to create like a specialty building. So either something like maybe a type of guild or maybe like a Lord's Manor or something like that. Or maybe if I want to take it like that, maybe this is like a you know, like, maybe a specific person's, like, a high-ranking official's house or something like that. Maybe it's even, like, a, you know, like, because this is supposed to be more, like, medieval-styled, if I hadn't mentioned that yet, so maybe it's, like, some sort of, like, admiral's house. Who knows? But, you know, admiral house, maybe small castle or something. But I want to do something in this area right up here, like a specialty building. And then I'm also planning on over there by that X, what I hope to get done is some sort of like town center. And so uh, there's also a setup over here marking a bridge and a setup over there marking another bridge across. And so you'd have these two bridges, which kind of this one would allow smaller ships through into this area. Oh, I completely forgot to mention this. The other thing which I had planned was basically taking over here and basically making it not nearly as deep as it is and so it'll be a lot flatter and so whilst it is a lot flatter it'd be not nearly like long range voyage vessels but more like i guess like fishing boats and trawlers and things like that would be the area that would be there or not trawlers um yeah just fishing vessels basically and then uh yeah things of that sort and then it could also be like an area for like relaxation like a nice beach area for the people to just enjoy the view um i don't exactly have much of a specific plan i'd probably refer back to this video for the plan honestly but yeah that's kind of my idea here just maybe tidying up the terraforming flattening it out and doing a little bit of stuff like that Again, this is going to be probably a shorter video than usual, um, but I'm, just, I'm not nearly as happy about this. Oh well. Alright. Yeah, so basically, you know, to just kind of run it over again. Important building here, the entrance to it would be on this, like, ridged area right here. Where it then goes into, like, this area where it kind of... You know, there's basically where my house is, and I'll probably continue this ridge a little bit more. And there'll be, like, a pathway that goes across, and then maybe it comes over to here, and then maybe a bridge leads down... Nah. Leads down over to this side, and then it would run off down here. And then you'd have, essentially, a kind of, basically, town center with maybe a nice statue or right about here and then you'd have your people's homes about the place i'll probably end up flattening this area to be a bit more gradual so there's another location where you can get onto the road uh, or maybe not i don't know yet but that's my plan at least is to do that because building up is a lot easier than tearing down so i can remove the grass here and basically replace it up top but i can't necessarily dig out this entire essentially area and flatten that out so i think that'll be what i'll do i'll try doing a little bit of terraforming as well 
Um, the only other thing which I'd be doing in this section is probably terraforming this cliff. And for like a final bit of stuff that I'd want to get done in this area would be somewhere off in this spruce forest making like a loggers camp. And then off in this direction in the birch forest area, mayor, maybe, geez, making like a another logging camp. So you'd have a logging camp over here, logging camp over here, pretty decently sized farm right here. And then I don't know what I want to do with these islands just yet, but they're plentiful and do really look kind of cool. So I might do something really cool with them, but I don't know what I can do yet. So if you have any suggestions for this kind of area, please let me know. There's a lot of different stuff that I'd like to do. I might try terraforming some of these mountainous areas. So maybe, you know, this mountainous area right here, maybe terraforming into like a mountain range, kind of like, uh, I think the YouTuber's name is Whip. He's done like a really big, like, mountainous thing i probably won't do nearly as big as him but definitely going a bit higher maybe a little higher than these mountains and kind of formulating like a mountain range that runs down this way stuff like that so just kind of i think i'll try to build up this area um whether or not these things will all get done before the next update i don't know but if they're not then what i'll do is i'll complete at least this section in a creative kind of time lapse area or if you guys want i'll do it in survival but anyway this has been captain tundraxis signing off